Today on Strange Places, we visit three abandoned locations in one extraordinary video. We go to an amazing abandoned car factory, an abandoned mall where we made many incredible discoveries, and finally, this awe-inspiring church. Follow your host, Max Power, into the depths of the unknown. Three locations, three adventures, three episodes in one. This is Strange Places. Hello, and welcome to Strange Places, where we go places that most people wouldn't dare to venture. And I am your host, Max Power. Today on Strange Places, we are going to bring you another video that I like to call the best of the rest. So if you're new to my channel, this is not a normal Strange Places video. What we like to do every once in a while is release videos called The Best of the Rest. It's called The Best of the Rest because we take all the footage from locations that we couldn't make into a full Strange Places episode and put them in one jam-packed video. So today we're going to be exploring not one, not two, but three abandoned locations. The first one's going to be an abandoned auto factory, the second is a, an abandoned mall, and the third one is an abandoned church. So if you haven't already, please go down there right now, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. It really helps me out a lot, and here's the best part. You'll be able to see Strange Places videos the moment they come out, so go to them right now. It will take you five seconds. And now we bring you to the first video on Strange Places, the best of the rest, the abandoned auto plant. Guys, welcome to the best of the rest. Um, I'm here with the mystery woman. This short video is going to be of an auto factory. This is an abandoned auto plant. Right now we're on top of the roof and the tower is all the way up there. So what I'm going to do is climb the internal ladder. Exploring with Danny has already been up there. Uh, Adrian's already been up there. Guys, Danny has already braved the ladders. I'm about to go up there too. And the mystery woman's already freaking up there. This one leads up to the tower. She's nowhere to be seen. Alright, whatever. What? So she's already up there. Oh, Christ. <laughs> One up the ladder. Should be fun. So the mystery woman and Max Powers are already climbing up there. That's insane. It is insane. <laughs> so she has confirmed that there's nothing up there. But there are outside ladders that get you all the way to the top. If there's nothing up there, I'd rather just climb the outside ladders. So we headed back down to try and use the outer ladders to get to the top. So those ladders didn't really lead to anything, but I might try this one. But unfortunately, those ladders didn't lead to the top either. So this is as far as we got. Now it's time to bring you to the second location on Strange Places, Best of the Rest. A mall where obsolete urbex found actual human teeth at a dentist's office. And the same mall where Jose California made an incredible find a foot doctor's office that did not smell like feet. But it doesn't smell like feet. You thought it would smell like feet here, but it really doesn't. Before you think I'm sarcastic and you think that I'm sneak dissing Jose California on this video, I'm 100% not. Finding a foot doctor's office that doesn't smell like feet is an incredible find. Because I've been to a foot doctor's office and it reeks of feet. I don't even think there's a way that you could have a foot doctor's office that doesn't smell like feet. That's actually very suspicious. Someone should investigate that. But what did Strange Places find? Well, we found garbage. Garbage. Japanese garbage. Establishing shots. More establishing shots. Some lottery tickets. And garbage establishing shots. But a lot of this footage is very cool and I encourage you to watch this because this abandoned mall is still dope even though we didn't find the coolest stuff. So now we take you to the abandoned mall. 
on Strange Places. Best of the rest. That's fine. It's not too dangerous, but it's That's a nice drop. Man. It's a nice little arm break. Maybe a little concussion. Guys, we have the band mall. Everyone's social media is going to be in the description. Check out everyone's stuff. Macy's Bloomingdale's. Wow, this this place is huge. Guys, this is one of the anchor stores. Uh, this is like a Macy's or a Bloomingdale's or something like that. It's the biggest store that I found in this mall so far. Uh, this is this part has power. So my guess is this was an anchor store, and the anchor stores are, are usually the last to go. So this is the most recently abandoned store in this mall. My guess, because it still has power. On it. Then we checked the basement, which had little to offer. He thought we were security, huh? I did. Sorry. Security would be too fat. Probably. I mean, haven't you seen Paul Blart mall cop? That's when we stumbled upon a tattoo shop. It's back here. Ooh, that's cool. Wow. This is probably the neatest find. What the hell is all of this? I don't know what these photos are. Tony Montana, the world is yours. Guys, if you don't know me, Scarface is like one of my favorite movies. Who's this with his Bentley? It's like some rapper. <laughs> Car. Okay, cool. Hey. Okay guys, so we just left that tattoo place so far. It was the coolest place we've been to. Leftover root beer. Now yeah, look at there's still root beer in here. So there's some merchandise that's still left. Oh no, these are these are sprinkler heads. Guys, there's some merchandise. While the left merchandise over here. was made up of very cheap items, it is always refreshing to find things left in abandoned malls, as most of them are stripped of everything, leaving employees only a only. hollow shell you behind. Gotta check the employees only. A rather disappointing visit to the back room, as nothing too exciting was back there. Lottery tickets. If you found a winning lottery ticket, that'd be so sick. Ooh, scratch off. These are all winning tickets here. Um, but I think they've all of them have been paid out. There's one with five dollars. These are winning lottery tickets. Let's see, this guy won. This guy won thirty. Yeah, so look, these are all winners. Like I said, we can't cash these because they've already been cashed, unfortunately. But that'd be really cool if we could go cash one. $10. Michigan Lottery. $4,000, look at that. Someone had a $4,000 winning ticket. 30, yeah, like most of these are not that high at all. Those lottery tickets were pretty cool. Um, those were all winners. The largest one was like, $5,000, like 4500 or something. 
a pretty cool find. Most abandoned malls I go to do not have anything in them. So this place actually has stuff, which is really cool. And we proceeded deeper into the mall, straying from the rest of our crew. Oh, there was a target here? So guys, now we're on our way to the abandoned target inside the abandoned mall. Honestly, it's probably gonna be lame, but whatever. The target is boarded up, what the hell? Okay, maybe we can't go inside the abandoned target. Oh look, we got some mannequins. There was no here. way into the abandoned target. Unfortunately, we can't get into the abandoned target. We'll find some really cool stuff outside the abandoned target. Look at all these mannequins. It's just kind of creepy. The target mannequins were an interesting but slightly creepy find. Someone left their watch here. Coolest piece of merchandise that we found is a watch sitting on the ground outside the target. Then we wandered into the food court area. This is the food court right here. This entire thing is the food court. And they have some Japanese garbage here. It's pretty cool. And lastly, we checked out the abandoned jewelry store. So guys, this is a jewelry store. Um, this is where they used to have citizen, citizen watches. That'd be sick if we found a Rolex here. Watch box here. That's pretty cool. Techno J. That's another watch brand. So they had a lot of cool watches. I wish they still had. That'd be so cool if there are still watches here. But I don't think there are. Look what we found. Okay, this is a brand new mount for um, to display watches. It says Citizen. So they put this up to display the Citizen watches. So now we take you to the epic conclusion of this episode's Strange Places, the best of the rest. An abandoned church that was absolutely beautiful and whose architecture was magnificent. That looks pretty awesome. church otherwise i would have given it its own episode like the architecture is unbelievable so that wraps up our episode thanks for watching please don't forget to like subscribe share comment and also check out all my collaborators channels the link to their channels is going to be in the description i'm your host max power see you next time on strange places